Making a quantum computer, as of now, it's still a hardware problem. Okay. Okay? It uses a qubit instead of a classical bit. So a classical bit is your transistor that is in a state of either I'm going to let current through or I'm going to block current. So that's my zero and one. A qubit can be in a superposition of two states. It can be in a zero and a one, and it can be in a linear combination. The other thing that's different about a qubit versus a classical bit is a classical bit, one transistor doesn't really talk to another until it's like really told to, right? Mm -hmm. But in a qubit, the power of the qubits is that they can be entangled to one another. They are not independent, mm -hmm. right? So one qubit can be in a superposition of zeros and ones, Another qubit right next to it can be in, in a superposition of zeros and ones and so on and so forth. And I can get access to an exponentially large number of states in my memory without actually having to explicitly encode each one of them, right? You can do a lot of things in parallel. In parallel. And, and you can access a lot of computational stuff in, the, parallel. in parallel yeah yeah there's something there's very um famous called the shores algorithm okay this is the one that all the nsa and everyone is excited about because this is the algorithm that lets you break rsa encryption mm, got okay it. It promises to break encryption simulate materials you get a better portfolio for your financial stocks because it's going to like figure out the best way to do things and all of that relies on actually making a quantum computer right and